Hello everyone, this is Professor Derek Smith and I want to welcome you to this CISSP exam essential. In today's essential, I want to talk about the elements of a formalized security policy structure. You need to know how layering simplifies security. You need to be able to explain the concept of abstraction and you need to understand data hiding. Let's talk about elements of a formalized security policy structure. To create a comprehensive security plan, you need the following items in place. You need a security policy, standards, baseline, guidelines, and procedures. You need to know what each of these things are and be able to delineate what they are. Such documentation clearly states security requirements and creates due diligence on the part of the responsible parties. You need to know how layering simplifies security. Layering is the use of multiple controls in series. Using a multi-layered solution allows for numerous controls to guard against threats. Think about defense in depth. You need to be able to explain the concept of abstraction. Abstraction is used to collect similar elements into groups, classes, or roles that are assigned security controls, restrictions, or permissions as a collective. It adds efficiency to carry out a security plan. You also need to understand data hiding. Data hiding is exactly what it sounds like, preventing data from being discovered or accessed by a subject. It is often a key element in security controls as well as in programming. If you want to know how to pass a CIS exam, pick up my free guide, How to Become a CISSP and Pass Exam on Your First Try, and get information on my live online CISSP course. Go to www.getcisspcertified.com.